Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Wrath of the Lich King and our fresh start server of Maladath here on the Human Paladin today. We have one more thing I want to do here in uh, Westfall. I know, it feels like we've been here forever. Uh, but I do want to get this done. I didn't quite have time to do it before we did some Shadowfang Keep yesterday. Uh, but I do want to check it out now, so we're probably not going to be here in Westfall for very long today. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I do appreciate it. Yeah, pretty successful Shadowfang Keep run. Despite the second run, we had someone who was a little bit over level. So for the first half of the run, we did not get any kill experience. We were getting like 15 XP a kill when we're supposed to be getting like 150 or something. So that was kind of a bummer. Uh, besides that though, we did get a one-handed mace and a shield so and that's kind of lucky because on our blood elf paladin we actually got a sword in this shield the very first time we did sfk this time it took us two runs got the fenris hide which is not like amazing for us it doesn't have strength it has a ton of agility on it and we got a bunch of green stuff so overall Pretty good runs. Don't know that we'll do any more SFK. I feel like the two runs, getting the main hand and the shield is like, you know, that's what we're in there for. Might have been nice to get an axe or a two-handed sword or something like that, but I, I think we're fine. Uh, we're going to have other stuff we can do. We can start running stockades, like, soonish. Uh, this is... it's up there, right? Yeah, this is like the weirdest place to get to, like, situated behind the mine. I like this though, it, 17 years of playing the game and I've done Westfall many times and I have never done this quest. Light be with you. Uh, let's see, they'll be coming again soon I'd wager, get yourself ready. I've got myself a gun in the house, I'll grab it and be ready to help you out, but for the most part you're on your own. I have no idea how many they'll send, but I'm sure it'll be more than a few, the few they sent. I think we like started an event and then took a summon. And I don't know if that like screwed anything up. It doesn't seem to have. Be careful. Okay, let's see what the, I'm assuming that's the Defias that are going to come here and uh, attack us, right? So we're in the house. I still don't really know what we're doing. Protect Daphne, okay. To the house, stay close to me, no matter no matter what. I have my gun and my ammo there. This is like an intense little thing that's happening. You won't ruin my lands, you scum. That's right. She picks up a gun, and then she comes and punches them and hits them with the gun. <laughs> what is happening here? Is that because humans at this point in time, humans couldn't be hunters, but like warriors could use guns. I'm assuming she can shoot, but whether or not we'll see it happen, I have no idea. Maybe if I stop them further out here, she'll shoot. This is a lot of guys. Like, we're going to be fine because we're a paladin and we're a little over level, but... This is a lot of guys. They might not all have the full health that you might expect an enemy to have, though. The light is with us this day. Inventory's full. Yeah, I could have definitely sold some stuff before we uh, left town, but that's okay. We're probably going to hearth back after this anyway.
completed. That was it. Greetings. Meet me down by the orchard. I need to... Oh, God. Why is she on the roof? She needs to put her gun away, but she needs to learn that uh, physics apply to her. Even here. Okay. <laughs> this is a cool quest. It's obviously more cool because uh, it's novel. I've never seen it before, but... There we go. It's better than an escort quest. We've done it. Thank you for your help. You were truly amazing out there. I never thought a paladin could handle so many enemies at once. You've truly shown bravery in the face of overwhelming odds. Please return to Dithorian and let him know that I'm safe for now. I have you and the church to thank for that. He'll send word to Ironforge to let my Jorgen know that he has nothing to fear. How I miss my husband. I can't wait until he returns. Safe travels. Yeah, can he kill seven Defias dudes all at once? Because I doubt it. Alright, I feel good. That was a good deed. It's our paladin quest. So yeah, we can uh, we can hurt out of here. We never did get red silk bandanas despite checking the quest giver several times. They did not seem to have it for us. And I don't know... I guess we could do dead mines again. It probably wouldn't hurt to. Do we dare check for the quest again? Run up all the stairs and just see if it's there? I think we can. Yeah, I mean, if we were going to be doing one more Dead Mines run, like, now would be the time. I just don't know that there's a lot we can get out of it. Um, we could check, we could check Atlas. The stockade. Yeah, we will, uh, we'll check this out in a second. Let's navigate the stairs here without falling off. And then if we put a group together, we have to make sure that we don't have anybody above level 24. Just want to make sure that we, uh, yeah, see, she's supposed to have the quest. Well met. It even says that she doesn't have it in the tooltip. But for some reason, you need something? I need you to give us the quest. Do you need something, like us, to collect red silk bandanas for you? Do you need something? No, she doesn't need anything. Yeah, that's unfortunate because that would be a quest we could do in Dead Mines. <laughs> I really don't know why we can't grab it. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a reputation thing. Now we're honored. We're honored with Stormwind. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, that being said, do we want to do Dead Mines again? Um, hmm. Two-handed axe. We have the two-handed mace. The axe would be, would be better. It has strength on it. Uh, the shield we don't need. Miner's cape we don't need. Another two-handed axe with spirit on it. That seems like perfect for a shaman. A one-handed sword we don't need. A finger we don't... A finger. A whole finger we don't need. Just chop it right off. Uh, a ring we don't need. Pants that we don't need. Another two-handed mace. This one with strength and agility on it that we could definitely use. A one-handed sword with agility. A one-handed axe that we don't need. Yeah, I don't think we need to do this again. There's not enough... There's not enough male gear. There's no male. There's no male gear in here. There's no male. <laughs> uh, yeah, that being said... We might be better off trying to do uh, Black Fathom Deep soon. That's what we might be better off doing. And uh, we could definitely do some Ashenvale questing, and I wouldn't be opposed to that. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Let's actually do something useful. We could be in flight this whole time instead of just listening to me gab while we stand here in the rain. Uh, we need to go back to Stormwind and turn this in, and then we will make a decision about where we're going to go next. You need something? See you later. 
I kind of want to. I kind of want to do Black Fathom Deeps, and I kind of want to go questing in Ashenvale. I, I want to do the wetlands too. I want to see the wetlands. I feel like we we give Kalimdor so little love when we're on the alliance side, and it makes sense because it really does feel like obviously a bulk of the early level alliance stuff is all on the Eastern Kingdoms. But Ashenvale is a place we can go. I've only done the Alliance stuff there a couple of times. And I don't think we've ever done all of it. We could jump back and forth between Wetlands and Ashenvale. It, would, it wouldn't be too hard. There's the boat to Menethil in, in Darkshore. And then it's just a quick flight point down to uh, Ashenvale. Hmm. Yeah. The only thing about it is they don't have a they don't have a flight point on the Zorum stand. So I kind of want to do BFD though. Nineteen to thirty. Maybe we got to do stockades first. They're they're both kind of in like the same. Level range. Stockades. Black Fathom Deeps. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, you are putting a group together apparently. But for what? For the stockades. Okay, that's fine. We could probably do the stockades. We are right here in Stormwinds. I like, like that we're all set to tank. Uh, that's hilarious. The game needs like new tips to pop up that aren't automatically disabled when you've disabled your old tips that tell you about some of the new functions that you might not really understand how they work. Because it would be really useful if people would go into their talents and they would like set themselves properly. That would actually help out a lot in the looking for group scene. Just saying. We need to uh, take care of some housekeeping before we go do anything here. Let's let's sell a bunch of stuff, specifically. Um, we don't need that. We don't need this. So we need to make sure we keep the hammer. But I think every other item we can basically get rid of at this point. We could really use a pair of shoulders. Just saying. Yeah, now I don't think we need this. I like the 8 strength. Obviously the hit rating is good. I like that the Scepter has more top end damage and is just all around better. Uh, that being said, do we keep this around to like keep our skills up? I don't, I don't think we need to. Maybe we'll keep it for a little bit. I'll keep it for a little bit, maybe, and uh, see how that goes. Okay, I think that's as good as we can do. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna listen to you guys. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop selling these gems. Now, should I keep the gems for potential blacksmithing patterns, or should I sell the gems on the auction house? I I've gotten a couple of different uh, answers. Somebody said I would need them for more complicated uh, patterns, and a couple of you guys told me that I should just be selling them, that it makes your heart hurt as jewel crafters to see me vendor them. And I definitely understand that. The problem is, if I can... It, it vendors for two and a half silver, so... If I can't get at least two and a half silver on the auction house, then it's better for me to vendor it because then it gets out of my bag sooner. It's a pretty selfish reason, but it's true. Now, if I can sell it for a little bit more than two and a half silvers, then that makes that makes economical sense for me to do that. And that's been my problem with some things. It's like it's like a very thin line between. It's like a handful of coppers difference between vendoring it and putting it on the auction. House. I got a summon. I love it. I love that I got a summon. With you. Speak to Jordan Stillwell in Ironforge. Yeah, we uh, we will do that. Let's go ahead and let's get this run going, though. 
we're gonna have some quests to do for here as well. Kill Basil Thread. We should actually, like, you know, get into the dungeon would be good. Could be a good idea. Uh, we brought two waters because, well, we're awesome, obviously. We, bu we brought two waters and we forgot to repair, so... It's gonna be a good time. Alright, well, who needs what here? Let's start buffing people up. Mage, Priest, Paladin could need anything. I'll give him Might. He's got Kings on him. I can't give him anything because he's not here. And Night Elf, we got two Priests. That's going to be an interesting... Uh, <laughs> okay. Alright, I have to assume that we are basically ready to get going. I think we have some water being traded back and forth. Uh, that being said, let's just get into things here and uh, test out the waters. We'll do a we'll do a couple smaller pulls and then we'll accidentally pull the whole room and uh, see how that goes. These guys disarm, which would be horrible if we were on a a warrior, but ultimately ultimately would would not be a big deal. In the Apparently, we just weren't ready yet. <laughs> I was the only one ready. Let's grab this guy. Righteous Fury is on, so... Oh, he's going to get help. That's gonna be fun. You're going to get help. I should obviously be taking these guys farther away from, uh... From the door. From all the doors. This is one way to pull the dungeon. We just, like, let everybody run off and get their friends, and they come to us. I, I'm actually completely okay with this. I am okay with this. Do we have to check these rooms? Yeah, there are a couple people in here. We've got Tar Targar the Dread in this room. And somebody did need him, so that's good. It would be nice if he uh, if he dropped some loot, you know what I mean? That would be nice. Uh, this room has been cleared out. Uh, let's take a look at people's... So, who is... Who is healing here? I'm assuming that uh, our second human priest here, Pitala, is healing. Sorry if I butcher your name.
So we have a paladin that's missing in action. We have a mage that's not doing any damage. There we go. We we've got we've got some low key problems in this group already, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be okay. I really like just letting them walk away and call their buddies. That's actually really working for me. Uh, maybe I sound like I'm being sarcastic, but I, I assure you that I'm not. I don't remember how people like to pull this. I think we are going to go straight first and then left and then or then right then left. I think that's how we do it. I really don't know. But, oh, there's nothing in here. Okay, so this room is empty. Let's go this way first. I guess we get to decide some of these things, being the tank. Hi guys, come on out. Come on. Out here, please. We are missing a lot. They are level 24, some of them. And we're down. And the mage is down. Healer has mana. Doesn't seem to be... Doesn't seem to be healing. Okay, and yeah, because World of Warcraft Classic is amazing and values your time, uh, the flight point, or the respawn point is outside the effing city. Why is there not a graveyard in the city? Anywhere in the city? Could we just respawn in the Cathedral of Light? Would that not make sense? Yeah, whoops, I guess. I, I'm, I don't know. Not sure about whoops. Not sure about whoops. Uh, our gear is probably going to need to be repaired. So I'm just going to do that because it's stockades and uh, yeah, they can wait, I guess, at this point. So we didn't have to die there, I don't think. I feel like the healer did have mana. I did pop a defensive. We pulled, you know, we had a lot of enemies on us, that's true. I could pull more carefully, it just doesn't seem like it's actually necessary for me to do that. It just seems like one more heal there would have done the trick. Okay, well, I guess we'll see. Uh, where are we going to repair at? We could probably repair at the empty quiver. Any other like we could maybe we could repair at the Oh, we got to get a we gotta get a res. All right, well that's fine. We'll take the res. I have to ask because uh, I do need water and I only have two. <laughs> I make two at a time. I remember the pain, man. I know the pain. It is hard when like you just get that new rank and you can make like two at a time. I don't even need a whole stack. And then, then the, you have to drink some of your own water to keep making the water. Yeah, I remember. I thought maybe in Wrath they would have changed it just to like continually make 10 at a time or something. Okay, so let's uh, get buffs going.
I feel like everyone is good. These rooms are not empty. Let's warm everybody up with a uh, single pull here. Make sure we're all good to go. We got him. Let's put Righteous Fury up because that's going to be important. Well, that's not great. Uh, we are, we are oom. Got a bunch of runners, including Cam himself is running all over the place. We've got one guy inside there that did not pull yet somehow. Despite all the commotion. And one guy in here that didn't pull yet. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's bring him over here. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Let me stand up, please. We have like, for some reason, we're we're having trouble just finishing enemies off. It's it's kind of a weird thing. I don't know if I've ever quite seen anything like that before. Just kind of like an inability to get through the last half a percent of health. Maybe because everyone runs out of mana. Maybe because nobody wants to being casters. Like they don't want to cast that last spell, so they all stop and they start wanding. Could be that. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's not great. Okay, well, we got some more problems. The good news is we leveled up. Uh, they are nice pants, and we're going to equip them immediately. Can't do that while in combat. Well, of course we can't. Okay, uh, are these rooms cleared out? No, they're not. Let's do this.
I'm not sure what's happening. I'm pretty sure I just saw somebody run out of there with all these guys, which is very troubling. And I, I don't really understand it, but... Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. It's it's kind of confusing. I mean, I'll have to watch the playback to like even know for sure. But I, I, maybe someone got feared. That's really all I can think of is that maybe somebody got feared into that back room. Because I could have swore I just saw somebody run out there with all these guys chasing them. Oh, that's, that's really regretful. I wish it wouldn't give you achievements until you 100% clear the dungeon. Like, we're not 100% we're not clear. Pretty sure we have a whole other hallway to go down. Uh, yeah, DPS. Guys, there's a guy in there. You should, you should DPS him. Go ahead, go get him. You got ranged attacks and stuff. I just want to see how long this guy's going to walk around before someone decides to kill him. That's the new game we're going to play, is we're going to play the game of how long can we let one guy live before one of the DPS wants to DPS them. It's literally the weirdest thing. I, I have never seen mobs run around at low health like that for so long. Yeah, it is one way to clear. It's a scary ass way to clear, that's true. Uh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's get going back this way. Good job all. Are we, are we done? I feel like... I feel like we can go this way, right? We'll wait here and see if people catch up to us, but yeah, I would like to clear this other hallway. We could probably stand to get some buffs going. And yeah, I think that's good. Why do I feel like half the time when I'm looking at the paladin, he's not moving, or attacking, or doing anything? Why do I feel that way? Is it true, or is it just my perception, because of some of the weird stuff that's been going on? 
I'm gonna go ahead and drink back to full mana. That will give our, our buddy time to maybe get back to the keyboard. Uh, who was it? It was the mage. Okay, well that's not critical. It's not, like, critical. Yeah, we don't, we don't need the mage that much, apparently. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Oh, it only causes the holy damage if they're not attacking you. Okay, so I don't really need to, like, have it in my rotation. It doesn't always deal damage. It just deals damage that first time. Got it. I'm gonna fight these guys back here so that nothing weird happens uh, with this room with pulling the adjacent rooms. Yeah, okay. Great. We just really can't, we can't finish anybody off before they run so far away. It's really weird. Maybe it's, maybe it's the way priests work. I don't know, it has to be something to do with that because that's like the biggest difference. Is that we have a, a DPS priest or, or something, I don't know. We have a DPS holy priest. Maybe at this level they don't have a lot of their shadow form toys, I don't know. We do have some broken bracers, that's true.
So he's the guy that fears. That's good to know. Uh, I'm actually okay if we fight him back in this room. And there we go, down he goes. We might as well clear this last room out of guys. Uh, well, there's a lot of guys, so let's just be careful about this. And there we go, that is basically a full clear of the stockades. And there we go. I am going to get us out of here and we need to repair and then we need to kind of figure out what we want to do now. That was a nice little distraction. We will probably be running this again, it depends on if we get any more quests to go. But yeah, I think next we could we could head over to Loch Madon and do some of the higher level stuff there. We could head over to Ashenvale. Ashenvale seems like it's a bit of a higher level. So maybe it wouldn't hurt to be level 23 or 4. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm going to get this turned in. And then I'm going to go repair. And then we'll decide what we're going to do. Uh, bring sealed, the sealed description of Thread's visitor to Barros, Alexton, and Stormwind. Alliance. Well met. And quell the uprising. Yeah, we, we have to basically go right back in here to do some of these quests, so... Uh, maybe we'll do that. Alright, well first things first, let's go find somewhere to repair. Thinking maybe the tailoring shop might be closest. Uh, did I pass it? Yeah, I think I ran right by it. Can I help you? And let's go ahead and empty out the old inventory. If I was DPSing, these would probably be better. I actually don't know how I ended up with stamina spirit gear. I was wondering if this group that needed a tank was going to invite us or not. We have a priest, a paladin, a hunter, and a warlock. Uh, that's actually pretty balanced. I will remember eventually, guys, that we can mount up. It might not be today that I remember it, but I'll try to do better at, at you know, riding around on our mount. Let's grab some actual water here, just in case. I think a stack should be good. Farewell. We still have a lot of mage water. I don't know how long that will stay with us. It doesn't say... I think maybe if I log out for more than an hour, maybe then it would disappear. I know there's some kind of limit on how long it exists. Alright, well, we could just head on over to the dungeon on our horse. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, do we want to turn in the follow-up? I feel like we should do that really quick. There's a possibility that it chains into another Stockades quest. Uh, and I don't know enough to know for sure, so I'd rather... Just get it turned in and taken care of. Hey there. See you around. Uh, it didn't turn into another stockade quest. Yeah, we'd have to go talk to Matthias. Okay, we're not going to do this right now. I, I should have maybe done all this before I put myself in the queue. But uh, we should probably get going. And if we need to do it one more time, then I'm not opposed to that either. Uh, I could go the right way. Yeah. i get over there. I actually don't mind running this a bunch of times. I mean, it's really quick. There's lots of enemies to fight in here. So, like, running it a few times... Not a bad idea. Looks like we're going without me, which is sad. I want all this kill experience. Alright, cool. Let's get a little bit of mana back before we charge into the next room. Could be a good idea. Uh, I do want to, like, actually reset the data. Yeah, let's, uh, reset all data. Uh, okay. Sure, boiled clams. I love boiled clams. They're my favorite. Might have been trying to toss something out of his inventory and, uh, dropped it on us. <laughs> That's right, I took your boiled clams. actually make sure that we're looting everything.
this person got the best name because it just gets infinitely confusing to your brain to look over at your th at your tracker here and see the word you. <laughs> Especially when like you actually are that class. They want to go this way first. Which is understandable because apparently the other way is technically the end of the dungeon. This guy's- maybe it's just something that happens in stockades. Maybe stockades is a place where people don't finish the enemies off and the enemies run around and get help. I- I've never quite experienced that, but it, it's happening kind of in this group too, where like the runners are getting away. And they're pulling ads, and that's fine, like we can deal with the ads. It's not really a matter of whether we can deal with the ads. And it's time for mana. I guess fighting the guy who fears you, like, back in this room is probably an okay idea. It's gonna be harder for him to send us into other rooms if we, if we fight him back inside of this room. Although that won't stop that one from getting away and pulling everybody. And yeah, we're still in combat, guys. Still in combat. Get some mana back. We probably have talent points we can spend. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, damn. <laughs> That's fun. Was that just, like, something that was done intentionally because I'm not waiting for my group to get mana back? Or was that just something that happened? Did I... I don't think I line of sighted the healer. I was in the doorway. I think these guys got it, but... Could have been line of sight. It depends. I mean, if the healer was over here, that could be a line of sight. Boy, did I learn my lesson. I'll just assume it was my fault, that I deserved it. What's going on out here exactly? Hard to tell. I think they're down to their last guy. Me and the Warlock sacrificed for the greater good of the group. Slaughtered wholesale. We have no rings, guys. We have zero rings, we have no shoulders, we have no neck piece, we have no helmet. It's really no wonder that we are getting pounded. It's really no wonder. Alright, well we need buffs again. Let's go ahead and just assume that, like, everybody needs buffs. I'm just gonna give everybody wisdom that I can give wisdom to, and... I guess you can have strength? I'm just gonna pull them out. So that I know that it's not like a... Weird line of sight issue happening. I don't really understand when groups roll for chest because if there's a green or a blue in the chest, it's gonna make us roll off it for it anyway. I, I don't. I never, I've never understood that about, about rolling. Is it like rolling for the junk inside of the chest that nobody wants or needs? Because I'll pass on that 100% of the time, but if an item drops, it's going to give us the ability to roll on it through the game. We don't have to do a slash roll. Let's make sure we have everybody with us. Righteous Fury is not on. That's true. We're gonna go lay on hands there. I, I just like, I don't know why I, why sometimes we're not getting healed. I really don't. I feel like we didn't pull too many guys. I feel like everyone's mana is okay. I mean, we could pull smaller pulls, I guess. If it's really a matter of how much damage we take when power and shield runs out, then we can we can do smaller pulls, I guess. I'm gonna drink here. Give everybody a moment. Or we can just keep pulling, that's cool, you know. That's fine, you guys go ahead and do that. 
I'll do the actual pulling back here uh, with the mobs that I want to fight. Like, I'm sorry, I'm about to live though. Yeah, we, we needed that second, and uh, the other paladin got to be a tank for a minute. Yeah, I understand that that drops threat, but I, I really did not want to die. I figured we could pick threat back up if we lived. And that's exactly what happened, because yeah, I just... I'm just not getting healed when I need to be healed. It's like right now it's a mana thing, so right now we need to stop for mana. Maybe they're trying to play like super conservative with their mana because we've, we've been going pretty fast and because of that we haven't gotten a good heal sometimes when we really need it. Maybe they've just been trying to hold back on the heal until that last possible moment. And if that's the case, yeah, I understand. I mean... Sometimes you have to play that way as a healer to keep up with a group. But I have been trying to watch the mana. It did get exhausted there though, obviously. Yeah, I, I'm really concerned here because, you know, we've died a couple of times. That time the healer had full mana. The healer was at their keyboard. They, we could see them moving around and, and seemingly casting heals. We gave them lots of time to get a heal off. Even when we were down to, like, very, very low percentage, I backed off and we, we lived for another couple of seconds. And I really don't understand why we're getting so low and why we're dying. It's, uh, it's been kind of a nuisance. It's become a nuisance, but it's about to be over, so... And then other pulls, we, we get healed just fine. And everything's fine. It's it, Maybe they're really distracted or something, I don't know. 
Uh, did we, like, actually complete the kill quest? We need one more convict? Is it, they do that on purpose, right? So you can't possibly complete it in one run. That's fun. Yeah, it's just... It's been weird. It's been a weird run. I think we're gonna have to do one more. Uh, I'd like to do one more, not with this group, but uh, with a fresh set of people. And we'll see how that goes. We'll have three runs to compare to. They've both been weird runs for different reasons. The first one with all the runners, and then this one with just sometimes just not getting a heal timely. Could be like a workday distraction thing, but... If you're, if you're playing WoW during your workday, you should probably just go DPS. Please don't try to heal me. All right, let's uh, let's get ourselves over to Old Town, and then I'll throw us back in the queue. And yeah, that'll be this will be the last time we uh, do this today. It's probably a lot of stockades, but it's a good experience. And let's face it, it's just really easy to do the run, because the run is, like, right here. It's really easy. What can I do for you? What's this? Yes, I think I do know who this man is, but his name is not Malik. Assassins wear many names and many masks, discarding them as they lose their usefulness. Another alias known to be used by this man is Marzan, though even that is surely not his true name. Regardless, he is an assassin and I know a good deal about him. Marzan is currently under the employ of Lord Gregor Leskavar, a lord of shady reputation, even given the corruption of the nobility of Stormwind. That Marzan would be contacting a member of the Defias and have ties to Leskovar. Having killed Van Cleef and Thread, it would be hard to see Leskovar brought to proper justice, as your evidence is nothing without their testimonies. That is not even considering the fact that Leskovar is a noble and well-connected. It effectively makes him above the law. You'll need other help. I loathe to do so, but there is someone I know that will aid us. You'll find Trius in the trade... This is, uh... Bless you. This starts a whole big train of chain about the um, king who's been kidnapped, right? I feel like we've followed this one through before. Maybe it's maybe it's not. Maybe we just see Trius in both quest chains. But I know we, in both quest chains we work with Matthias and Trius. Uh, let's do that. No healers right now. After we uh, do this, we'll start assembling a group. I like a... Uh, I like a 20 rogue. I like a 25... Warlock. Uh, what are you? I wish it would tell you stuff about them. Oh, mage, yes. It does It does tell you stuff about them. Imagine that. Imagine that. Where am I going? Not the right way.
That's what we need. We do need someone. Oh. I guess that would be useful information. I usually whisper people. I just, this time I tried just to toss them the invite through the system. Maybe I just need to go back to uh, whispering people before I give them the invite, you know. Put a little bit of effort in, I guess. Instead of relying shamelessly on the systems. What can I do for you? Have a good one. Okay. Yeah, I think this changed into like infiltrating the castle, which which we've never done. We've never completed that one that I recall. Okay, so this will be the last time we run this. We'll complete our kill quest. Uh, there are probably other quests that I don't have. I know that the chain that goes to Red Ridge for the Defias, I, I think that becomes a quest for Stockades. So by not doing those same zones, we kind of kind of did miss out on a few things. Uh, where is everybody? Who needs a summon? I mean, are they here? I guess they're probably here. Oh, geez. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> so the zombie events have started. The zombie events have started. I'm getting into the instance. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun to deal with. Yeah, we probably just need to... Uh, to hang out in here for a second. It's not looking good up here. It's not looking good at all. All right, the guard's got one, but I think the guard is now infected. You're infected. <laughs> I'll find a cure before it's too late. Can we, uh... We can't get rid of that, can we? It's not a disease or a poison? Oh no. Oh dear. Okay, well, we tried. We did try. Alright, uh, let's give you strength. You need wisdom. You need wisdom. You need wisdom. Oh, you have a stronger version of wisdom than what we have. Uh, and with that, I think we are good to at least initiate a pull here. Why are we going to lose the healer in four minutes? Are you asking a question? Are you making a statement? Are you just being, are you confused or being confusing? Did you lose a healer in four minutes the last time you did a run? Is that what you're insinuating? There's so, so many things to suss out in the way people communicate stuff. Um, <laughs> I could ask about six different questions about that statement and then I don't know if by the end of it I would understand any more than I do right now. Do a little divine protection here. Righteous Fury is not on because we're awesome. Who needs Righteous Fury? Who even needs it?
Oh, we did level. I didn't even notice, but we leveled again. Hooray. Uh, that means we have more talent points to spend. The other guy did not pull. So I really wish they would just both come together. Oh no. What happened? <laughs> We've lost somebody. The plague is has taken him. What do we do? Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. This is very concerning. Oh no, they're gonna infect us. We're gonna get infected. We're infected! Guys. It's been nice knowing you all. But we've been infected. <laughs> oh no, I guess we just are gonna have to die. We're gonna turn on our group and they're gonna have to kill us. They should just kill us now. Oh no. Well, this adds a new twist to things, I guess. So, like, can we res her? Or gonna have to release. Yeah, we, we can't res a, a zombie. This is not great. We need to find a cure before it's too late. Are we all infected? Are we all gonna turn? I think it's just me. Uh, yeah, they're not... Rez, you, you have to walk it. I think that's the best way to deal with this. I think the best way is just to let me get killed and uh, res me. We could have just let him reset. I I didn't mean like. Yeah, I just really just meant let him kill me and reset. But I guess taking them out is fine. 
I think this is the easiest solution because otherwise I'm going to have to do a graveyard run. And uh, that will probably take longer than this. I'm assuming it would take a little bit longer to run back than to wait for them to clear this and res me. That's like if they ever get out of combat though, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think they got it. Okay, good. That works. It's not ideal, but it works. I think we're all going to need mana after this, to be fair. So let's do that. Let's get all of our mana back. Let's also look at our talents here and uh, go ahead and put a third point into Conviction. Conviction is filling out pretty quick. This room is cleared. This room is not. Uh, Righteous Fury is just not staying up, or maybe I'm just not like seeing it and not paying attention to whether it's up or not, but I've had some weird stuff going on. I think I'm just not like seeing it. Then maybe I'm like clicking it again, which is turning it off.
I'm glad this guy got to stand here and watch the entire massacre of all the other inmates, and he just did nothing. That was a nasty chain lightning. <laughs> really did, really nasty. All right, so let's take you first. Oh, dang. Well, uh... <laughs> uh, if I had noticed them, that would have helped. Would it have, uh... Would it have saved a wipe? I don't know, that was a lot of guys. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to pull those and obviously did not see them right away. Um, I didn't pull them. So, there's that. Uh, I, they might have added it accidentally. Uh, I wasn't really looking at what happened. It seemed like maybe they came out of that side room. I think ultimately it was probably too many for us, even had I, you know, turned my back and not been getting smacked in the back of the head. feel like it probably would have wiped us. So yeah, fun times. All right. Well, it happens. Righteous Fury, got it this time. Look at that. It's on 
pole's not even over yet. It's fine. Now these guys are gonna run off and cause us some problems if we don't get them under control. Okay, we got that one barely. So that's good. He's looking around, but there's nowhere to go. Cornered like the dog you are. That was rude of me, but it felt right. Oh, he's like phased into the floor. Okay, perfect.
Oh, what's this? Binds when equipped. Twisted Chanter's Staff. And we're, we're rolling need on BOEs. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that, by the way. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I'm not a fan of rolling need on Vine on Equips. I... Yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um... If, if it Vine on Equip drops, you just have to greed on it. He didn't fear that time. And I, I think being in the room with him is probably the safest place to be. I'm glad this dude just hung out back here the entire time he didn't want to join. He was just minding his own business. I know some of you were going to say, if it's an upgrade, it's an upgrade. You should need on it. It's not an upgrade. It's a buy none equip. <laughs> it's, a, it's a totally different category. It's, it's not a piece of dungeon gear that dropped from the dungeon that's, buy, that's you know, buy none pickup. It's, it's buy none equip. It has, a large, it has a large value outside of being able to equip it. So, yeah. I didn't even look at the, ch the stats on it, did I? Yeah, 6 stam, 10 int. And yeah, that's it. It was a good run. Nice and smooth. By the book. Fun times. Got uh, most of the way through this level here, so I think we'll be able to turn in the quest outside and uh, get a little further along in the level. Let's see how that goes. Could be zombies out here. Could be zombies. Everyone looks healthy again. Well,
Let's get this turned in. And yeah, that's a that's quite a chunk of experience there. Guys, I'm gonna take a break here. It's been really fun running these dungeons back to back. I've really enjoyed it. I'm gonna do some thinking about where I wanna take us next. And I will see you all there. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for the continued support on the series. It really does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye for now.